Okay, let's go through the setup for this little project. Um, we're going to create a new design. When you open Fusion, you get a design already open with it called Untitled up here. So we need to save it. And when we save, you're going to get a location. So don't put it in your recent files. Um, create a new project. Um, I've called my new project. 2022 because it was new to 2022 this project year 10 table um, you can call it what you want but that's going to be your project folder and once you've done that name your file copy table table whatever you like but make sure it's got a name make sure the location is the folder you've just set up so you've got that selected it'll come up with a tick here and it'll be your version number um, and if you want to have a look in here, I've got two named copy tables now, but um, you can see it is all going to be created in this folder. So my previous model here, all the subparts are made in this one folder. What's really important, so if you don't, if you miss something, this is not the thing to miss. So um, most important starting point, create a new component. Um, the new component is going to call, be called leg. This is what I'm going to focus on in this video. So you can see this one here has changed to like a sub-assembly um, little symbol. And the activation dot is where we want to model. So we want to model this leg. Um, hopefully you've had some experience with Fusion. So we're going to create a sketch. So we always create sketches. The first time you do a sketch in a component, you get this origin thing up. So I'm going to click on the ground plane, the bottom one. Um, I like to use a rectangle, center point rectangle. And I'm going to click on the origin, come out. And our leg size is 40, tab 40. So if you click the tab button, you can tab between the um, measurements there. And the enter key will um, OK that, obviously. Like I said in the last video, you get used to um, orbiting your project using the shift key and roller button on your mouse. We're going to finish that sketch and then we're going to extrude. We're going to extrude it up 600. Now we're going to click and create the um, tapers on the leg. The tapers just make this thing um, look a little bit more slimline and neat as a woodwork project. So create sketch. I'm drawing on the front plane. Zoom in. Now, when I hover around on a line, you can see as I hover along, it will get to a point where it kind of snaps to different items. So sometimes it gives you a triangle, sometimes it just snaps, sometimes it gives you a square or a cross. We just want to go on a random spot. So we're going to click there and there, zoom right in, and I'm on my front view. I'll press D for dimension, and I'm going to dimension the remainder of our work. So from this point to this point, is going to be 30. Now this is the piece we're going to cut out. So from the there to here, we're going to make that 180 millimeters, and then we are going to go finish sketch. So we're going to remove this by going extrude. If you can't find the extrude, look down on the create menu. So once you've done that, I orbit and pull that through. Um, you can go just more than you need. That's fine for this application. Or you can go distance all. Either way, it doesn't matter. So that's my front taper. Um, now we're going to go to the side opposite that taper we just cut. And create another sketch. Same deal. Try not to snap it to the center of any lines just a little triangle there d the remainder is going to be 30 and the remainder on this side is going to be 180. finish sketch extrude click that profile rotate your model slightly and click ok so we've got two two tapers there Hopefully I'm not moving too quickly. The next thing we're going to do are the holes. So um, the holes are going to be for the dowels. 
and we're going to start on this side so i'm going to click on this one so i've got it rotated to see my front and rotate it slightly so you can see the right and click on this one i'm going to go create sketch um line a line type so you might need to expand this one if it hasn't been already we want to click the construction one we're going to do three lines that go horizontally across our work and we're going to press d the dimension and we are going to go down 9.5 with the first one then i'm going to click the top line and the bottom dotted line place that dimension out here 140 that's our rail size it'll make sense later and i'm going to click both the two bottom dotted lines and click the 9.5 and press enter and that's where we're going to place the dow holes next is the circle and we're going to deselect the construction type or the line type and the dows are going to be 10. so we're going to do two more sorry three more um i'm not going to dimension these because i'm going to show you a quick trick so if i press d now and it's just um the outer dimension on click the 10 that's already existing so i'll do it again slowly so place the dimension and then click the existing 10 that way if you want to change them all later which i'll do here i want to change that to 12 you can see they all update at the same time now it's good to put your place your dimension somewhere logical where you can actually see them i'm going to change it back to 10 it's not important but it's just something you could do last thing i'm going to do is measure um, nine out from each side so doing it slowly i click the center of the dot the outside line place it and nine and enter or if you want to so center out of line you click an existing nine and it'll just reference that So there's a reason why we do this. Um, this these two here, this will be a driven dimension because it's um, it's it can't be 21 and 9 and 9 with the sizes we've made. So it, it puts it in brackets. Um, 22 is the the spacing for our horizontal borer. So that's the way we'd have to mark it out um, for our woodwork project. So that's our front dowels. It looks a bit complicated, but um, that will do the trick. And then we are going to cut these inwards. So we're going to go in minus 25. So it looked a lot of measuring, but um, if you get this wrong in your woodwork project, um, you get a wonky table. So it's worth taking your time. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it over to the other side where the other chamfer is and we're going to do this one on the outside so this is going to be our left right and back um, measurements so um, let me think about this let's do another sketch let's do a construction line as a line down this side so we'll go down to here then we're going to do one across the side like that we'll press d for dimension um, the dimension is 140 between those two lines and this one between here and here is um, 12.5 there's some logic behind that which we can explain when we've got the project together we're going to use the circle tool and we're going to draw our 10 mil circle now this will seem overkill um, but we're going to do lots of 10 more circles here so there's three in a row and then we're going to do three from the bottom up as well um, if our horizontal borer was set up differently we would do this process differently but just for the sake of what we're doing 
um, this is how we're going to do it. See how this one here is kind of got that triangle there? Avoid that, so bring it down a little bit. If I did draw on that, it would create a constraint and um, you could manually delete it, but um, it's a bit like putting a dimension on. Um, this one here, we're going to go 12 millimeters up, and the top one, we're going to go 12 millimeters down. And the next one is going to be 22 millimeters down from that. And the next one is 22 down from that. So we've got 12, 22, and 22. We can neaten up these measurements by kind of bringing them together like that. This one here to the side of that. And same here, 22, 22. That's our kind of complete measurement there. So finish sketch. Extrude one, two, three, four, five, six. Rotate your model and in minus 25. You can see they've kind of come together a little bit here. Well, that won't matter though. So that's our one leg. The next video, I'm going to show you um, what we're going to do with these legs. So um, we will duplicate it, we won't have to model the whole leg again.